Okay, so let's look at the question four from this March 2011 paper. So says Shola has two of these coins, and she's got a 1p, a 2p, a 5p, a 10p, a 20p, a 50p, and a £1 coin. The value of one coin is 10% of the value of the other coin. Work out the possible total amounts you could have. Well, you have to think quite carefully about this one. This is quite tricky, because you can have different combinations. So if we start with one pound, if she has one pound, then the other coin she must have is 10% of that, which is 10p. So that means she has one pound and 10p. But she didn't have to start with the one pound. She could start with a 50p. So if she started with a 50p, then 10% of the other coin must be 10% of that. So divided by 10 is 5p. That means she could have 55p. She could have started with a 20p instead. Do you see the pattern of what's going on now? Then that means the second coin must have been 2p, 10% of it, which means she had 22p. Or the biggest coin in her hand could have been a 10p, which means the other coin must have been a 1p, and she has an 11p. She can't have had a 5p coin in her hand as the biggest coin. She could have had a 5p with a 50p, but as the biggest coin, she couldn't have had a 5p like that, because you can't, 10% of 5p is, is half a p. It doesn't make any sense. So you can't have half a, a half p or halfpenny or something. It doesn't exist anymore. So they're the only combinations she can have. So she can have uh, £1.10. She could have 55p. She could have 22p. Or she could have 11p. So, uh, one mark for finding any combination, uh, two marks for finding uh, three combinations, and getting all four combinations is going to get you three marks on this question. So have a quick think about it if you understand how I've worked through and how I've worked logically.